Now to take you through the pin binder here. Ooh. Hey everyone, Dave K here, and today I'm gonna take you through my full pin collection, Disney pin collection here. You know I've done a lot of pin trading with different Disney pins, and I've got this entire case here in addition to this huge pin board right here. So we're gonna go through all of these fantastic pins right here, let you know what I've got. Let's get to it. So getting started with my pin collection here today, I have a variety of different pins. I've got pins on that pin board, which I feel like are some of the most special, some of my favorite pins, some of the most exclusive pins. That's how they earn the spot on the board over there. I do have some pins that aren't quite on the board yet that I still need to set those up. So there's a couple more, you'll see those coming. Some sent from some very kind friends as well. So thank you so much for sending those. But I've got to get those together on the board. But those are some of my favorites, some of the most exclusive special ones to me. And then I'm gonna show you what's inside this envelope here, the different pages for me, are prioritized where depending upon what page they're on I want to say most forward is most important and kind of furthest back is most tradable I'm not 100% sure and then I've got over here kind of a separate piece of tradable pins so if you're thinking to yourself Dave how do you really trade efficiently with so many pins I've got in addition to that bag right there I've got this kind of what do you call it little paper paper index card here with some pins on it as well you can see right there I've got a few different ones in my collection here I've got ham I've got that figment, but I'm pretty sure that figment's a duplicate, which is why it's a tradable one for me. I've got this pin right here, the kind of, this one might actually make its way up and move up a little bit in terms of the rankings. You've got that, uh, if you look at it closely, you can see it's kind of, uh, what do you call it, Alice in Wonderland right there. You've got a different pavilion here, Mexico pavilion, over there in Epcot, and a figment one. Some of these may have been traded to me, so maybe should come off this now. Um, but a couple more on the back there, some of those Mickey, not quite Vinylmations, right, but kind of Vinylmation shaped ones. Very interesting pins there as well. And then I've got a couple in my hand that fell off that index card here. Check out this uh, right here. You've got the Seven Dwarves. I want to say, is this Happy? Or who is that right there? I want to say, maybe that's Happy. It's kind of tough to get my camera to focus on him here. Let me see if I can get that fixed here for us. Boom, there he is. Nice, got Happy right there. And a few others. Let's keep it going. Right here, I've got this Buzz Lightyear set of ears. I love that Buzz Lightyear set of ears right there. Very nice look to it. I'm thinking, again, maybe that one will make its way to the book here as well. And in addition, I've got this Goofy pin right next to it. Check out that Goofy pin right there. Very, very nice. It's a little bit tricky for me to get the camera to focus right where I want it to on this one. But hopefully you got a good view of all the pins. And maybe we'll just give you another look here later on. But let me know what you think. Let me know how it came across. Now to take you through the pin binder here. Ooh, check out this pin binder. And I'm pretty sure this first page is exactly what I was suggesting where it's some of my favorites here in the binder. You may be able to tell I'm a very big Figment fan. And some of these Figment pins I haven't seen before, especially before in my collection. I don't see them too often in the parks. If you look right up here, that kind of classic Figment on the yellow right there, kind of Figment ears going on. You got a Figment face. Right there, he's got good written there. And you'll see some of these also are on my pin board, which is why I have them on this kind of tradable booklet here. You got the kind of outline of Figment right there. Here's a couple different colors of Figment, kind of flat there. And then I got Buzz Lightyear, kind of Mickey Vinylmation. I love that Mickey Vinylmation, right, with the ears, kind of person-shaped one. Those are very cool. This right here, I know it's a little bit trickier to see. There we go. It's Figment on a paint can. It's all silver. You got Mickey shirt here and a Figment magic band right there. Check out this guy right here you've got i want to say it's the dream finder on a little vinylmation there and then over here on the far right side look at that mickey really nice it kind of reminds me of animal kingdom or sana right there and you've got a figment heart right next to him look at this pluto growling at the tiger i like that animal kingdom you've got look over here donald with the hat from phantasmic and look at this mickey skull and crossbones nice you got a whole bunch of great ones here gotta love that cat there as well from alice in wonderland very very nice now for our second page, yes, let's see what we got. Page number two here has a couple of different pins as well you might like. Again, a lot of that kind of vinylmation theme. Here's a figment vinylmation, another one of those Buzz Lightyears, and up here, kind of a red-yellow. I want to say maybe that's Donald Colors vinylmation. Here's C for Create there, right there with figment, very nice. You've got this bear right here, a whole bunch of cool ones. I like this ghostly one that's a classic. Look at this. I don't know if I've seen this one here before, the Circus Special. That one might need to move to the board. For sure, you got to admit one here with Pooh on there, and you got a couple of others as well. Look at those from some of the classic films, and of course, these Donald ears right here. Very, very nice. 
Now, it has been a while since I've traded pins, but I do trade on a lot of different special occasions. For example, on the cruise ships. I like to trade at those officers' pin trading. I feel like they have some nice pins there. I do have to still get some of those pins together, kind of bring them together and put them either on the board or in the book. So you'll see, again, I'm behind on a few of those. But overall, I just wanted to give you a quick look at my pin collection. We'll see how quick the look is. And look at a bunch of these as well. I do have a lot of pins. Look at these here as well. This tombstone with the, uh, what is this? A long-legged Jeb. Here lies the long-legged Jeb right there. So you got some Haunted Mansion ones. You've got another kind of spooky one down there, Disneyland Resort with Jack. You've got this balloon right here and Wanted Jafar. Oh, I like these. Again, Mickey ear kind of shape to it, um, but it's got the countries on it. I like the countries. Here's Agrabah. Looks like all gold. And the Genie Vinyl Nation here as well. Very nice. And on page four, and I think, oh, actually, I was going to say, I think this is the most tradable page. But I'm not so sure because I love this guy right here in the middle. Check that guy out. Uh, he might be a duplicate for me, though. A couple of these others I'm pretty sure is duplicates like that figment up there. You've got the Jack Mickey right here over on this side. Test track, classic test track design. That's got to be iconic at this point. Look at this right here. You've got the whimsical Br'er Rabbit right there in addition to the pirate one. So maybe these are duplicates and or tradable style ones. And here in the back of my book, I've got a couple of other things just kind of holding on to souvenirs. Technically, they're pins like the... Uh, uh, I auditioned for American Idol pin. I'll show you that one. And some other cool stuff here as well. Signatures from different characters. But it's nice to see, again, for example, show you right here in this pocket, I think, yes, here, is where I have my auditioned for the American Idol experience. And David right there. That was a great time. I really enjoyed the American Idol experience. I do miss that one. I feel like that was one of my favorite uh, style of attractions in Hollywood Studio. Well, I love Hollywood Studios altogether. There's a whole bunch of great ones over there, but that was a fantastic attraction. Really glad I had the chance to sing on stage for hundreds of people for that one. A really, really fun time. Now it's time for the pin board. This one might be a little bit trickier to do. I might zoom in here and take you through them one by one because it's a huge pin board, as you can probably see over there. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that. So many pins, top to bottom. Let's take a look. So I want to start you off in this upper left-hand corner right here. These are some amazing, amazing pins. I see these so rarely, but I love to collect, as I mentioned, the kind of vinylmation looking ones. You'll see there's some more at the bottom, kind of like this guy right here, that kind of vinylmation look. But these are 3D, absolutely amazing. The pin comes off the back of the board. It's really fantastic there. And then, again, I've got three of those. I've got Figment, who's one of my favorites, so I'm so glad I've got him there. I've got the Mine, Mine, Mine guy right there as you can see, and we've got this kind of rabbit bunny looking guy. I'm not 100% sure who that is, but he's right there as well. And I'll give you a closer look at these pins here as well, so you can get a really good look. You can see on the mine, 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 there's actually a bird there, kind of in that Mickey foot right here. See that right here? Mickey foot's got a bird in there. Looking at the next row, let me take you down a row, is the America themed row. You can see I've got my patriotism right here on the board. I've got the Mickey ears, classic red, white, and blue in there. And then this one, which kind of, when you rotate it, I'm trying to get it to work here on this screen, uh, but maybe we won't do that. When you rotate it or look at it from different angles, you can see the blue stars versus seeing the red stripes. So that's the reality on that one. And then check out this Donald, Independence Day 2006. Some of these I feel like they've been around so, so long. It's really amazing. So you can see that Donald right there. Again, Independence Day 2006, really classic pin there. A couple of other classic American themed ones, the Mickey hat and Mickey himself, uh, just kind of red, white, and blue colored. And then I've got Music Day, it's Magic Music Day. I actually performed down the street, the Main Street USA, with my band way back in high school. It was really cool to experience, so I got a pin for that one. And next to it, you've got Magic Music Days, another kind of ear there at Walt Disney World. So there's two different style of Magic Music Day. I think maybe one of them I traded for, and the other one I actually uh, earned, but I'm not sure which one is which. Then moving down to the next row here, a lot of classic pins there as well. Look at that Bike the Bridge. I wasn't there for biking the San Francisco Gate Bridge. That'd be really cool. But I do have that pin, and it's got a nice style to it as well, so I traded for that one. Food Rocks, The Land. I remember getting that one back when Food Rocks was open. I loved that attraction. Food Rocks was really, really nice. So glad we've got that pin to kind of commemorate here as well. And this gator here, I'm pretty sure is not Blizzard Beach, but used to be Port Orleans French Quarter, but I may be mistaken. That may actually be the Blizzard Beach pin. Continuing our way down here, look at this Disneyland kind of 3D pin. I like that one quite a bit. And it's got the Cars Land logo right there next to it for Disneyland. And of course, California Adventure, very, very nice pin there as well. I feel like there's a lot of really cool ones. Look at this uh, Goofy's on the boardwalk, and he's juggling 
of that can of milk right there. A very nice style to it. And then you've got your Blizzard Beach right there. Classic pin, established 1995. Arr, the next row down is Pirates, me hearty. And right here, you've got the gold doubloon. you got to start it off with a doubloon, of course. Look at this Pirates of the Caribbean dead man chest kind of free hanging right there. And this one, very kind cast member, traded me for that one right there, that purple Jack Sparrow. Really nice one. I like that quite a bit. I like all the 3D ones especially. You can see this hat here with kind of that earring and the face sticking off of it. We've got this pirate right here, kind of skull. I haven't added to this board in quite a while. i got to add my new ones on here, but I'll have to do that. And then here's some other pirate ones. Again, kind of a different skull style there. Look at this. You've got Jack with uh, with Will Turner right there. And then Dead Man Tell No Tale. So we do have some duplicates in that book. That's probably why they're in there for tradables. You've got a couple of other here as well, pirate themed. Look at that little, uh, remember those guys? I'm trying to remember what that game was called with a little pirate guy dressed up from the uh, the fun penguin game that was fun. Club Penguin, maybe? Next row down is clearly just the beginning for me, just the beginning of the American or the different country themed pavilions there, which I like quite a bit too. Again, I like the different countries. I started and collected those. And look at the kind of more classic Mickey ear row right beneath that one. So you've got your piece, your test track, classic test track. Uh, I want to say there's Pinocchio right here and a couple of other ones there as well, including the ears. Very nice. Star Wars beneath that, if you can see the Star Wars. This 3D one here is really nice. I want to get that nice and close so you can see it. Yeah, right there. It's uh, Mickey with a lightsaber, like he's Luke or something like that. Right there in the ship, Millennium Falcon. Amazing. And then you've got this R2-D2 right there. And you've got Mickey with a lightsaber yet again. The row beneath, I'm definitely a big fan of the Muppets. So I think I've got maybe the full set there of the Muppets. Look at that. i got Kermit. I've got Miss Piggy. I've got Gonzo. Is that Gonzo? Is this, uh, hmm, man, I'm getting the names confused here. But I loved Animal. He was definitely a favorite for me. Honeydew. Fozzie's in there. We got uh, Beaker at the end. I think I got them all. Yeah, I think that's all of them. I almost said Grover. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe Grover is Sesame Street. <laughs> Whoops. Here's the next row down. And this is where we start getting to those heavy-duty Vinylmations. Just back-to-back-to-back to back to back Vinylmation kind of standing. I think that's what they're called. And I think they still do some similar pins to this. Um, but I always like the style of those kind of Mickey standing characters. Everything from skulls and spooky theater faces, music, up, down, XO, you know, the Valentine's one. And then the next row almost looks like all Star Wars ones. On that row, that's really cool. Yeah, all the way down from C-3PO to Greedo. You've got Chewie, Han, all kinds of cool ones here. R2, look at that. Yeah, awesome. Darth Vader at the end, Stormtrooper, and a droid right there in the middle. Very nice. Next row down is kind of looks like Muppet Vinylmations. Look at that. A full set of vinyl Muppet uh, Vinylmations as well. We've got ourselves the Swedish Chef, the Penguins, a bunch of cool ones. you got to like that little rat guy there, kind of the same one in the book. I like it. And continuing our way down is the final row of Vinylmations here. The mystery pin, you know, he's actually a mystery. Can't tell who he is. You got uh, Pirate, you've got a whole bunch of different characters there from the American Experience, I wanna say, that one is. You've got the Snowman here. You've got just all kinds of different variety. I think this is just where I put all the variety remaining Vinylmations, but I like them as well. Great, great style to each of them. Again, really love the kind of design of those. So I kept as many as I could, you know, especially the ones I liked quite a bit. <laughs> and that's not easy to do, so I'm continuing my way across here. I want to make sure that you can see them all. Kind of tricky to hold this giant pin board right here. Just kind of scrolling across this way so you can see them all. And hopefully you get a good view. I want to make sure my fingers are out of your way and that you can see everything that we're looking at here today. I love that Rex and that Army Man back there. Very, very cool. And the Penguin over here. We'll get back to this Disneyland, these special ones on this side. But that was a good showing on that first side. And let's show you the other side as well. Right here in the middle of the board, it's kind of a miscellaneous section, but still pins that I love. Look at that. A few Stitch pins in there. We've got Goofy and the gang as well. I love Stitch with a hat on. The Slinky Dog is, is kind of slinky in the middle. It's a really, really cool design there. I love Mr. Toad. He's one of my uh, favorite classic Disney characters right there. I always enjoyed his story. You've got Coca-Cola Mickey down there. Very, very nice. Phineas and Ferb. Love that show as well. Some great ones over there. And let's show you this far side of the board as well. I've decided there's an easier way to do this, and that's by not holding the board. Whoops. Instead, I'm holding the camera, and I can show you this way. You've got that thumbs up there, that Mickey thumbs up right there. You've got a couple of other pins here as well. Look at that 3D Goofy on there. That football on Mickey does roll back and forth too, which is awesome. I want to say maybe the Yeti moves on Everest, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. The arms, 
over here on Zerg definitely move as well. That's a, a really cool concept to it. And of course you've got Donald up there with his, I love that kind of Donald with his transparent kind of classic sign. Look at this Kellogg's one, official sponsor of breakfast. Wow, again, some of these are just, I feel like you can't find pins like this anymore, but it's nice to have a great collection here. Now over to this far right side are some of the originals, some of the earliest pins that I added to my pin board. The board that came before this board, this is a more updated board, and you can see some of the ones I've got here. I don't remember this one. Someone must have put this when I wasn't looking, this Days Till Christmas, but that's a really, really nice pin, so I'm glad I've got that here. You've got David up there on the monorail. That's from the beginning, I want to say. A lot of classic, classic ones here. Look at that giant Epcot right there with Mickey on it, Sorcerer Mickey. Really, really nicely done. You've got your Libra right there. And a couple of figments all the way down. I loved the 3D figments with the different countries. I wanted to collect that set, but I don't know where they went. It seems like there's, in, in my perspective, a lot more, less uh, people trading pins in the parks than there used to be. So I saw those two, and I got those two, France and Mexico, but I couldn't get any more. You've got Fourth of July figment over there, figment and Spaceship Earth over there, St. Patrick's Day, all kinds of cool ones. The Three Musketeer figment all the way down. Look at these. This was very interesting, too. Now, you'll see I've got three of the same. You're like, Dave, why do you have three of the same? But look, they're all different. The hat colors are different. The body color of Figment in each of them is just a little bit different, which I found very, very fascinating. So had to try to collect that set there as well. You've got plenty of Figments. Baby Figment, all kinds of good ones. Figment ears. I'm a big Figment fan, in case you couldn't tell. Figment on that glider right there. Again, kind of different Figment violations where he's standing up. Here are these different letters, right? Create, explore, the C and E there, and some of the Figment letters. And then, again, continuing our way down, just all kinds of Figment style here. Just, just pins... All the figment pins I could possibly come across, really. And then down here at the bottom of the board, you've got a couple of pins that I kept with the, the backs on them. Start kind of commemorating those, especially the Marvel, the Disneyland Paris, and the Disneyland right there from a recent mail time. So thank you so much for sending these two right here. And there's a couple others from mail time I have to add to this board here as well. I just have to go back and do those. I, I wanted to add these immediately since I had them here. And it's nice to be able to share, again, all the pins here with you. I really like that Disneyland 60 there as well, those diamonds are kind of three-dimensional on there too. Very, very nice feel, just all across the pin board. I know it's kind of not necessarily as organized as it could possibly be, but I do like it. You know, I like all the pins I've got on here and I'm looking forward to adding more. And that concludes my pin collection for today. There are a few other pins, which I'll have to bring together, add to the board, the book, or somewhere else, and share those with you in the future. But this is what I'm looking at for right now. What did you think of this pin adventure? Do you like my pin collection? Do you like all the Disney pins that I got on here? Or would you like to see some variety of other style pins as well? Did you like seeing the button as well? from the America's Got Talent, my singing on that one, or do you just like to see the Disney pin trading, just kind of classic style Disney pins right there? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and maybe share it with some friends. Anyone need some positivity at this time, make sure you share with them and let them know. Appreciate you being a part of the fun with me. If you haven't already, for more fun adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. Starting off with my pin, now to take you through, oops, one just fell off there. Now for our, oops, I'm dropping more pins. All these pins are falling out.